Shalom Shalom Mishpocha! Welcome to another edition of Ray Bash's Ramblings. Today I want to talk to you about the 613 commandments of Torah. Now, when I say that there's 613 commandments uh, to be followed, uh, many people will be like, oh, 613 commandments! How can I uh, keep and fulfill 613 commandments? Oh man, oh, I thank God so much for grace and for Yeshua's blood that the Torah's been done away with because there's no way I can keep 613 commandments. First of all, don't worry. You don't have to keep all 613. Why? Because not all 613 commandments apply to one person. Some apply only to uh, kings and farmers in the land of Israel. Some only apply to the Levitical priesthood uh, and dealing with sacrifices in the temple system, which is not in existence at this moment, at this point in time today. Some only deal, uh, some only uh, commandments are for men, some are only for women. So not any one individual has to keep all 613 commandments. Now there are 248 positive commandments, thou shalt, and 365 negative commandments, thou shalt not. S still people want to freak out, but you know I say to them, okay, think of the laws of Canada and the United States. These laws change like people change their underwear. Uh, you know, old laws are done away with, new laws are put into effect, some laws are augmented or changed. You go into any library into the section of law, whether it be just laws of a town or a city or laws of a nation, you're going to find rooms and rooms and volumes and volumes and volumes of laws. Now, do we sit and freak out and think, oh no, I'm here living in the United States, oh, or Canada, oh no, how do I know that I'm keeping all the laws of the land? What if I break one? We don't go around doing that. Um, we live in this culture, and it's almost second nature to keep the laws. We don't worry about it. Same with the Torah. Once you become Torah observant and in practice, it's like second nature. You don't think about it. Well, bless God, I don't want to be legalistic. Well, let me ask you something. Would you rather be legal or illegal? Legalistic is such a stupid term because, you know, being legalistic means that you're keeping the law or that you're following the law. Now, don't get me wrong. I know what people mean when they say legalistic. It means that they're taking upon themselves man-made laws or traditions or going to the nth degree with the Torah and thinking that those actions will save them. I understand that, but... I think that's a very poor definition and a very poor word to use, uh, this word legalistic. Um, it, it's almost a misnomer. So I ask, would you rather be legal or illegal in the eyes of God? I would rather be legal. Um, I would rather him say to me, uh, well done, thou good and faithful servant, enter into the, to, to the joys of Yahweh, um, instead of saying, you know, depart from me, you worker of iniquity, you Torahless one, you lawless one. You who did not keep the Torah, for I never knew you. I was never intimately known to you. So, I would rather be legal. <laughs> Anyways, um, 613. Uh, this is a number that was derived by the rabbis and sages, but it's kind of interesting because it fits. What's 6 plus 1 uh, plus 3? You know, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10. Uh, the Ten Commandments are a summary of the 613. Okay? What is 1 plus 0? 1. What is the greatest commandment? To love Yahweh your Elohim with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. So isn't that neat? 613 adds up to 10. Uh, you know, or 6, 1, and 3 add up to 10. And 1 and 0 add up to 1. And it just encapsulates and, 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 and summarizes the entire Torah. I think it's awesome. I think it's great. So hopefully this took the fear uh, out of the number 613 commandments oh, and it really brought to light what the 613 commandments are really all about and uh, you know in the Torah it says that you know and, and Rav Shul quotes the same verse in Romans that the word is nigh thee it is even in your mouth so you can do it God would not give us a set of laws and rules just to say ha ha see told you you couldn't keep them he says no you can do it you can keep it now are we gonna keep it perfectly no because we're fallen human beings, the only one who's done that was Yeshua HaMashiach. Um, you know, so it's, it, the point is not to keep them perfectly. The point is to strive to keep them to the best of your ability. And that's what it's all about. So Shalom and Shavuot Tov Mishpocha.